Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi if you have never been here before. We have a really exciting video. I'm going to be talking to you about basically all my favorite things. My favorite summer outfit essentials, books, my favorite shows that I've been watching recently, some house decor to talk about, all of the above. This video today is sponsored by the one and only Ana Luisa. You guys know I absolutely love Ana Luisa. They're one of my favorite jewelry brands. I'm wearing all Ana Luisa today. So I guess I'll start, we'll start off talking about jewelry because one of my biggest fashion essentials for the summer and really year-round is jewelry. Jewelry can just really bring an outfit to the next level and I think it really is essential especially when you're starting to figure out your style or you're starting to get more into fashion. It's a really easy way to transform an outfit and really bring it to the next level. You can have a super simple outfit, but once you add jewelry, it just like becomes so much more. I absolutely love Ana Luisa because they're really affordable. They start at just $39. You can also get 20% off with their summer sale at the link in my description. They have free US shipping and return. This jewelry is like the type of jewelry that's gonna last you your entire life. Super long lasting, really high quality. But it's really amazing because they're also a sustainable and ethical brand. They have a less is just enough philosophy. Jewelry is made in small batches, which ensures highest production standards and also helps to eliminate waste. They have really amazing sourcing transparency and all their metals are just basically as sustainable as possible. Really beautifully made in a way that really respects the earth and the people making it. I really, really value that about Ana Luisa and I'm just really proud to be working with them. Their rings are some of my favorites, so I'm actually wearing two from them. This one I've had for a little while. It's this really cute little croissant ring. And then this one I just got. It's so stunning. It's so like, just just dainty and small and it's just this little tiny crystal right there that I just think is so beautiful and stunning. It's, I love dainty, dainty jewelry like this. And then up here, I'm wearing another really dainty little heart necklace that I've shown in previous Anna Luisa videos. Um, and then this new one, which is this really cool chain with this really pretty green um, stone that I just thought was so beautiful and stunning and I like how it looks with my green dress. Last but not least, I'm not wearing these right now, but they're literally like brand new. They're so beautiful. I've got these really beautiful, super unique earrings. I've never seen anything like these before and they just reminded me like of a sunset or something and I just think are so pretty to spice up a summer outfit. Add that like extra pop of color and statement to an outfit. So yeah, don't forget at the end of this video to make sure you go down below into the description, click the link so you can go get 20% off your order with Ana Luisa. And yeah, I hope you all for treat yourself to some fun jewelry for the summer to really spice up your outfits. Now, moving on to more outfit essentials. First things first, I want to talk about button downs because they have been just a staple of the summer. Button downs are just super versatile and also I want to start with these because both of these I actually found at a thrift store and button downs I think are one of the easiest things to actually find at the thrift store. This one I got at Savers actually when I was visiting my boyfriend in Utah and it's just this really pretty sage green. Obviously you guys can tell I'm obsessed with sage green. Um, we're just not gonna talk about it because I have a lot of it but it's fine. This one is sage green and is so pretty. I love wearing it like on its own or over like a little top. It just like kind of adds that extra oomph and is also just really nice for the summer I think because it's not too heavy but like if you're going out in the evening like to watch the sunset or something somewhere or like to a drive-in or something this is really nice to just throw on because it adds a little bit of warmth but it's not like too warm that you're gonna be hot in the summer with it. And it also just adds so much to an outfit, I think. And yeah, I just think this is so, so cute. This one I absolutely love. I'm obsessed with it. I got this one at a vintage store. Um, and it's real linen and just like so pretty. It has these really beautiful little eyelet designs in it. And I just like screamed when I saw it. Linen is like just so stunning to me and it's so lightweight and just flowy perfect for the summer and I just love throwing this one on when I want a little something extra but don't want to wear an actual jacket. But yeah, button downs I would say are like my number one thing for the summer and the fall and honestly like all the time that I think is, an out is a total outfit essential for anybody and would really go with like any sort of style. Next, I have some cute little 
um, unique tops. And I like these because like in the summer, you know, the summer it's hot outside. You don't want to be wearing something too extreme. I really like tank tops and stuff, but I don't like just wearing basic tank tops every day. So I've been loving these two shirts because they really um, like still let me be cool. I'm not too hot in them but they're super unique and just add like so much to an outfit. First one is this one. Like, are you kidding me? I found this on Depop. Like, what the heck, do you see this? It's stunning. I'm obsessed with this top. I think it's so pretty and dreamy and I just feel like a fairy when I'm wearing it. I like this so much because it keeps me cool. It doesn't, it's not too much on a hot day but at the same time, it adds so much to an outfit. Like you could wear just like some jean shorts with this and it would be such a look. You really don't need anything else with like a statement shirt like this. This one's from Princess Polly and it's just this satin material um, and it's just like has this simple elegance to it that I think is so stunning and pretty for like brunch in the summer or um, a day out and about with your friends. I think this is so, so pretty. And I just think this top is so unique but also like keeps you cool in the summer and I think that's like just the best of both worlds. One more fun top like this. Actually, this one it has these puff sleeves that, as you can tell, I'm very into puff sleeves recently. But I just think it's super, super cute. And then it has this kind of like underwiring bra situation but for some reason it doesn't. It doesn't really come across to me like this is like a bra because of the sleeves. I think it really um, makes it more like, okay, this is just a crop top. And a shirt like this, again, is just so fun for the summer. Okay, speaking of staying cool, one of my favorite ways to stay cool in the summer is dresses, dresses in general. This dress I'm wearing right now is one of my new favorites and I think it's gonna be so nice on hot days because it can be worn off the shoulder like this or up on the shoulder like this. I have been obsessed with gingham, like literally anything gingham, I'm here for it. Honestly, a bit of a problem, yeah. I like should not buy any more gingham. I just love this dress. It's so flowy and comfortable and I love the puff sleeves. Super feminine and pretty and I'm obsessed with it. This dress I recently got off a of girl's Depop. So stunning. It's originally from Urban Outfitters and I like gasped when I found that out because it's just so, the detail on this dress is just so beautiful and it has such a vintage feel. It flows down and like into this huge like situation and I just feel like a flowy cowgirl fairy in this and why would you not want to feel like a cowgirl fairy? Why? I've really been experimenting with long dresses this year just because I think they're just stunning and so fun to wear um, and just really comfortable in the summer too. Wait, I have one more long dress I want to show you because it's stunning, beautiful, one sec. This long dress is another one of my favorites at the moment. It is so pretty. It's like this really nice satin material. I just love the way it fits. It has like this really stunning low back and I feel like a fairy in this as well. Basically, I just want to feel like a fairy this summer and these are my outfit essentials to make you feel like a fairy. Go frolic in the meadow without your shoes on in this dress. It's going to be amazing. Okay, some more outfit essentials of the summer have been <laughs> these overalls. These overalls are like literally my absolute pride, joy, my muse, my everything. I think you're going to be seeing them a lot on my Instagram, even into the fall because they're like kind of fallish colors, but they work for the summer too. In love with them, and I think overalls in general are just so, so cute for the summer and are just like my new favorite thing. Here's one more pair of overalls. These ones are like these corduroy green overalls. They're like this beautiful shade. I'm in love. This is one of my favorite colors. And again, with the overalls, I just think there's something so magic to them. Like just get yourself a pair of overalls this summer. I'm promising you, you will not regret it. I think it's just such a cute casual look and it honestly is super comfortable and really practical too, which is awesome when practicality meets, it's, which is awesome when practicality meets, why can I say this? Which is awesome when practicality meets fashion. Anyway, love these, absolutely marvelous. Moving on to accessories. This part is very fun. These are some of my favorite 
heels that I've had this summer. They seem really unique to me. Like they're kind of this sling back look and I think the heel itself is just super French and unique, pretty, just super dainty and um, really like just beautiful for the summer. They give me big Sex in the City vibes. I feel like I can totally see any one of the characters rocking these shoes and I absolutely love them. Here's one more pair of shoes that I literally have been wearing with like every other outfit I wear. I think the pop of blue is just so fun and adds so much to an outfit. They are also just super comfortable. They're like padded and really are not that hard to walk in. So if you're looking for like a heel that's really easy to walk in and can just be worn with a lot of stuff, even more like casual looks, I think this one is amazing. I recently discovered the magic of hats and they're like my absolute favorite thing. We have this one. I feel like I'm going to the beach going berry picking, just like absolutely adorable. Do you see this? Not only are hats just amazing for a bad hair day, but also a hat has just spice up outfits so much. You could be wearing something basic and then you put on a hat and everyone's like, wow, she has amazing fashion sense. Get yourself some hats. If you're into that cottage core life style, whatever, this hat, um, this girl on Instagram, Ravery by Alexandra is her shop name. She made me this hat and it's just like so pretty. This one is really similar and has been like my go-to hat all summer long. It just makes me feel like so pretty and just like dainty, fairy-esque, south of France vibes. And I think the white with like the little dainty flowers just goes with everything. If you're not really into that super cottage quarry vibe but you still want hats, this one from Cotton On is really cute. It's a little bit less aggressive cottage core and a little bit more bucket hat style, but still kind of like in between. Um, and just really pretty and feminine. And yeah, you guys know tote bags have just been my thing all summer long. Basically all I've been using are tote bags. I've really graduated from mini bags to tote bags and I just love them so so much my favorite tote of all time has to be the picnic bag from my friend Kira margolis designs shop definitely check her out i absolutely love her she's amazing so such a sweet girl and she hand makes these all by herself and this bag has been my favorite bag of my entire lifetime it goes i probably wouldn't wear it with this because this is just you know gingham overload but i wear it with like basically every outfit as long as it matches <laughs> okay Really quickly, we're gonna do some of my favorite, wait, I need coffee. Okay, as many of you know, I just moved into a new apartment and I've been doing a lot of decorating. Don't worry, a huge apartment makeover is coming. It is on its way to you as we speak and not finished yet with the apartment, but as soon as it's done, I'll be getting that video out to you. Um, but anyway, I wanted to share some of my favorite things that I've been getting for the apartment. So the first one actually, this pillowcase. This pillowcase came with a set and I'm really excited to try out the other things as well. I think that one of my favorite new ways to decorate is just like with your bed. I never like really took into account like or thought too seriously about my bedding, but now the bed is just such a focal point of a room that I think it's such a fun way to like redecorate or like switch up the vibe. Um, I've been loving my bedding pictures on Instagram and definitely follow my Instagram if you want some room inspo because I just constantly take pictures in my room I love it in here I love how they look and they also come with like a green base one which I'm gonna put on next I think and then switch out these pillowcases for like purple pillowcases to go with it I think that mix and matching with stuff like that is just super fun I'm gonna link this one down below because they're really soft and it was a very inexpensive set that I think can like be mix and matched in so many fun different ways or just used as the set came as well so some more house decor inspo and my favorite things have been these candles from this Instagram shop definitely check this shop out they were such they were so sweet and they sent these to me and I've just been absolutely loving them um this one's kind of like this really cool ladder this one's this really pretty pop of blue little like cloud which I think is adorable and then this one is like the classic like definitely been over 
everybody's Pinterest board this year. Um, pink bubble candle that I keep right here on my nightstand. I've just been adoring these. I think they're so fun and funky and I think it's awesome to like buy stuff like this um, from small businesses. Some more decor over here, clothing rack. And the clothing rack has been absolutely essential this summer and spring. As I've like been getting more into fashion content, I've loved this, but even if I wasn't like a content creator or anything, I think this is such a fun way to really like show off your pe your favorite pieces and um, just kind of add something to a room. You Next thing that I've been in love with is this little mushroom lamp from Urban Outfitters. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's so freaking cute and it's just so cute. I think it looks so adorable on my nightstand. Look how cute that is. Are you kidding me? It's like this right here. The view you're looking at right now, obsessed. Okay, over here, you see this? So Cute. This has also been one of my favorite decor pieces that we've added to the apartment and I'm just living for it. I think it's so adorable. I really like that I've just been hanging my bags here, coats here, hats here as you can see and it's just been so nice. I don't really know what to put up here yet but it's really cool that it has that extra storage place too and I think not only is it really practical and good for storage but it's also just adorable if you need some practical but cute storage space this this baby's for you this one isn't decor but it's a thing and that is this film camera i recently got if you're wondering this is the canis sure shot 105 zoom i really really like this it's super easy to take pictures with i haven't actually got my first roll of film back yet i'm really excited and it's just been so fun to like carry this around in my purse every single day and just shoot pictures here and there it's a really fun thing to do in the summer i would highly suggest investing in one of these you can find these on ebay post who the disposable ones because it's just more sustainable this one i got for 15 dollars actually at an antique store and i just brought it to a local camera shop to see if it was still working they like, gave me the right battery and helped me with the film at the camera shop so definitely if you're like oh i don't know if this camera works but i just found it for five bucks at goodwill like just snag it just bring it to your local camera shop see if it works because you might have just found yourself an amazing little camera but i I think this is so fun to like capture memories in the summer forever and ever moving on to books i sadly have only read one book all summer that my friends is a lot for me so please, please. <sighs> congratulate me i used to be like an avid reader in middle school and then high school hit and i just kind of never read anymore and um would only read stuff that I would, had to read for school but never chose to read for fun. So this book like completely changed my perspective on reading and made me excited to read again. Literally like made me fall back in love with reading. If you have been like trying to read books since high school but like just can't find a book that like really strikes your fancy or really holds your attention, I would highly suggest this one. It's called One of Us is Lying. It's basically about th these um, five kids, four kids that go to a high school. One day at school, they're all in the same room together. They're not really friends and someone in the room, another student actually mysteriously passes away. These kids are basically pinned for the murder of this boy. Each chapter is just told from a different perspective of each kid and you don't know like who did it or even if any of them did it, the entire story. Um, and you're following all of their lives and basically like these secrets that are like coming out about them. Maybe that was a terrible explanation, but it's just so riveting, gripping, such a page turner and it, it made me fall back in love with reading. So I owe it all to this book. TV shows and movies. Well, for TV shows, I've actually been re-watching Sex and the City for like the fifth time. It's so bad. I don't know if any of you have like a comfort show that you just rewatch and rewatch and rewatch. Sex and the City and Friend Friends and Gossip Girl are definitely mine. Right now, we are rewatching Sex and the City. And if you have never watched Sex and the City, I highly suggest it is so good. Follows the life of these four women in New York City. Every single episode is written with this internal monologue of the main character who's a writer. It's if, especially if you're like very into New York and like glamour and fashion. I think that this show is absolutely up your alley. It follows their love lives but also just like the friendship of women. Um, 
which I think female friendship is often times dismissed in film and just more so like focused on the cattiness of women towards each other, bully girls, and all that drama. And this one is really amazing because it more so focuses on the drama of their love life. So one like unconditional love that's always there is their female friendship, which is really amazing to see. <sighs> that being said, it is definitely outdated, <laughs> um, as is like friends and all that. Um, and you know, it's not Definitely if they were to rewrite it today, they would have had to do it differently. Oh, some movies I recently watched was Woman in the Window or Lady in the Window. That movie, absolutely mind-blowing. about this woman, I think she lives in New York City, who basically stays in her house the entire film. The acting is amazing. Really just get into her mind and are just like in total suspense and on the edge of your seat the entire film. It's definitely a little bit scary, but I'm not really a huge fan of scary movies and I could handle it. So I would highly suggest, especially if you want to be like absolutely mind blown at the ending. Thank you so much Pixies for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. It was very fun talking to you about my favorite things in life at the moment and let me know your favorite stuff down below if you have favorite outfit essentials or favorite little knickknacks or tv shows movies whatever definitely drop them down below i'd love to hear thank you so much again anna luisa for sponsoring this video make sure you go check out the link in my description to go get 20 percent off your anna luisa order get treat yourself to some beautiful jewelry that's just gonna last you a really really long time i love you all so 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 much and i will see you in my next video Bye.